guys, welcome back. I am super excited to show you the long awaited tingling. <laughs> um, this is one of my absolute favorite looks and I've had a lot of requests on how I do my winged eyeliner. So I thought I would show that to you today. Um, it's really nothing fancy. I don't do anything different than anyone else really. Um, but yeah, I still want to show you how I do it because it's so fun. Um, so this look is one of my favorites. You probably all know that because um, I pretty much almost always have a winged liner on. I just think, well, first of all, I saw Little Miss Lauren Conrad strutting it many moons ago, and I just thought, oh my gosh, she looks so great all the time, and it's just kind of like simple and easy, and yeah, I just love it on her, so I'm like, I want to adopt that into my own style, and so I do, and I probably wear it a little too much. Let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial. So if this is something that you have been wanting to see, then go ahead and just keep watching. Okay, so the hardest part of doing the winged liner is the actual flick. So I prefer to do the flick first, so I get the hard thing out of the way, and then the rest is just super easy and really quick. So, um... Yeah, let's just get started. So my favorite liquid eyeliner to use is by NYC. I know, but you know what? It's okay because it's under $3 and it gets the job done. I've been using this for years. I should probably branch out and try something new or try the felt tip pens because they'd probably be a lot easier, but I'm just used to this and um, yeah, I think it works great. I think it's a good pigment. It lasts all day. Um, this is what it looks like. And this is with the little... I can't think of the word. The little wand brush looks like. Um, anyway, so for the flick, what you want to do is at the very end of your eyelid, you want to draw a line going from there up to the end of your eyebrow. Now, you kind of just want to imagine a little imaginary line that's going from there to there. And obviously, you don't want to draw your line all the way up to your eyebrow because you'd look a little crazy. But, you know, if you're going for the dramatic look, then whatever floats your boat, sweeties. <laughs> um, but we're not going to go that crazy today. So, anyways, I'm just going to... I'm going to do this the best that I can without, like, blocking you. Um, I'm just going to draw the line. Just a little flick. And you see it's going from the outside of my eye up to the end of my eyebrow. And you can make it a little bit um, cleaner if you want. So then the tricky part about this is just getting those flicks even. That's really the hardest part. Um, let's see. So it's best to do ju just do like, um, <laughs> it's best to do just little strokes in my opinion because sometimes if you draw the straight line, sometimes it's hard to get that exact same angle as the other side so I just kind of do like a few um just little ones so that I get the angle that I want now it's okay if it's not completely perfect like um I've been doing this look for years and still I feel like it's hard to get them like exactly symmetrical but as long as they are pretty close then you're fine I wouldn't worry about it I wouldn't like go crazy over it so now you see I have the little flick and now it's the easy part. Like I said, you're just going to trace along your lash line and you're going to slightly go a little bit thicker towards the outside of that wing because you want to match in with the wing. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead. And you guys can do this like as thin or as thick as you want, as dramatic or um, 
subtle as you want. I switch it up all the time. Just whatever my mood is or if I mess up a little then okay I'll just do it a little thicker that day. That's okay. So you see I just went to a little bit thicker towards the outside so that I could kind of wing it up into the little flick that we just drew. And that looks pretty good, so I'll do the other side. And I'm going all the way in. And I just need to make that side a little thicker. So you just kind of eye it as you go and the whole time I'm doing this, I'm looking at both sides being like, okay, is this starting to look more even? And if you mess up a little, just use a little tooth, or I mean, not a little toothpick. Just use a little toothpick to clean it up. No, just use a little um, Q-tip and you can put it in a little um, eye makeup remover or I'm naughty and if I'm just doing it on myself, I'll put it in. I'll give it a little spit. Okay, those look pretty even to me. So I'll show you what it looks like closer. And there you go. That's how I do my tingling. Um, super easy. It's just, it really just takes practice and like I said, once you get those flicks even on both sides, you can just real quickly draw in your line and you are good to go. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and um, let me know if there's any other tutorials that you'd want to see. Um, I love making these little videos, even though I'm not a little pro with a fancy camera, but it's still fun for me. So. Yeah, let me know um, in the comments if there's anything else you want to see, if you enjoy this video, or if you have any questions. And I hope that you all have a fabulous day, and I'll see you soon.